Today I would like to share Anita's fibromyalgia story with you. You'll hear from her in a moment, but I want to celebrate her tenacity, her determination to think outside the box and really get her life back. Anita is like many fibromyalgia sufferers that seem to have fallen through the cracks after seeing numerous medical professionals being on a number of different medications, none of which seem to really help. Anita was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, irritable bowel syndrome, and diabetes. She was in a lot of pain and had all the tender points of fibromyalgia as well as sleep disturbances that led to fatigue, brain fog, gastrointestinal distress, and blood sugar instability. Let's just say that the odds were certainly stacked against her. She was scared because she thought that one day she might be unable to take care of herself and her family. She was afraid because she thought people might think that she was crazy. She was angry because the modern medical profession did absolutely nothing but throw medications at her. The medications that she took only made her feel worse. She was frustrated because no one seemed to understand her, not even her closest friends. One day, by chance, while driving her car, she heard a functional medicine practitioner on a radio program. He was encouraging people to think outside the box of modern medicine. He explained that diseases are like the tip of an iceberg, and the underlying cause, that which is below the surface and hard to see, is what actually needed to be corrected in order to restore health. At that point, Anita had to make a decision. Do I keep on doing the same things again and again, expecting different results, or do I make changes? She had to ask herself if her family would support her and agree with her decision to look more deeply into her condition, thinking outside the box of the modern medical norms. It took a lot of courage, but she decided to do something different, to make a change, to think outside the box. So she made an appointment with a functional medicine practitioner, and the process of discovery began. They did a complete and thorough health history, which is extremely important. They talked about past medical history places she had been, and medications she had taken even into childhood. They looked at conditions her parents might be suffering from to see if there was a genetic predisposition. She filled out several metabolic assessment forms. She did several advanced tests. The discovery process revealed pathogenic bacteria, yeast overgrowth, and parasites she also suffered from leaky gut syndrome and adrenal fatigue. Treatment began, and it included a specific diet for her condition, a few lifestyle changes, and pharmaceutical-grade supplements designed to kill yeast, parasites, and pathogenic bacteria. I would like for you to meet Anita and hear from her for yourself. Your name, if you would. Anita Lovell. Okay. Anita, what is it that brought you into the Wellness Center? What was your problem? What was your issues? Mostly in the wellness part because of the fibromyalgia, not getting much help with that, not getting much help with the, from the doctor from the diabetes. Um, so generally then fibromyalgia, diabetes, and the symptoms that kind of accompany those things, right? Yes. Now you had, you had been diagnosed as well with Irritable bowel syndrome, right? Yes. Spastic yes. colon? Yes. How much did you lose? 12 pounds. So you lost 12 pounds in two weeks. Mm -hmm. You better not shout that from the mountaintops because mm -hmm. if we, we would have a, like I say, we'd have a line around the building if we could do that for everyone, right? The skin is more moist. Uh, my fingernails are growing. Uh, they're stronger now and growing longer than they have in years and years. And then you had been having some chronic diarrhea, but that 
seems to have backed off as well, right? Um, for someone who is yeah. suffering from fibromyalgia, someone who is dealing with diabetes, would you suggest that they explore this type of wellness care? Definitely. Um, even just emotionally, because I have felt that you, this clinic, has listened to what I have to say, where some of the other doctors don't listen. I even went to uh, paid a, a person to give me the diet and all that kind of stuff, and they didn't listen to what all the things that are wrong with me, because they gave me a diet that would fit anybody. So, um, and I think that's a biggie, that you guys are listening to what I'm saying, and you're not saying, you know, well, it's in your head, or it's this or that, your ex, you did all the tests, which I think was very important. Absolutely. All the tests, I think, because that found things that nobody else has found out that I had. And you can't treat them if you don't know you have, if you have got them. That's right. Yeah, you're right, because we don't treat the disease, we treat the person. And you have to find out where the physiological deviations are. And, and I'm so thrilled and thankful that I have an opportunity to, to help good people like you. Because I know you, you've struggled with this and want to get better and, and just kind of hopeless after seeing so many people and not really getting results, huh? Yes, I, I would describe that's probably how I felt, hopeless. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do want to thank you, though, for taking a few minutes to, to share your personal testimony. And this is an ongoing process. I expect you to just continue to get better. But I want to thank you for your time. And I know that people out there that are suffering will, will appreciate you doing that as well. It really took a lot of courage, bravery, and persistence. But after several months of treatment, Anita saw great improvement. Would you celebrate Anita's recovery with us? I can tell you that it is Anita's hope that there would be a long line of former fibromyalgia sufferers that follow in her footsteps. Anita, we certainly applaud you.